Welcome to Fright Fest. Thank you so much. Um, tell me, what can people expect from Volition? Well, Volition is uh, is a movie that certainly uh, challenged us to make. So I think for an audience, it's a, it's a really fun ride. They can expect to be, I think, surprised a lot by a, a certain midpoint twist that happens. It's very much like a Twilight Zone or a Black Mirror episode. It's a, it's a, it's a cerebral sci-fi film, but it has a lot of psychological uh, horror or uh, other aspects of, I think, just you know, a, a twisted kind of genre-bending movie. So a lot of fun for us to make, and I think the fans will enjoy it. It's definitely one of the hardest films to talk about without giving anything away. Yeah. Um, I mean, where did you come up with the concept and the idea for this? So without giving anything away, again, uh, I started to, to um, hypothesize that maybe clairvoyance, if it is a thing, um, what would be the cause of it? You know, what would be, if, if you are seeing the future, does that mean that we are not, of course, the most present that there is out there in the universe? And so that started to suggest that is, is there something time related to the way our perception works, the way that we see the world versus the way the world truly is? And uh, almost like uh, I, I'm, a, I'm an editor as well. So when you're editing a movie, you know, you're only watching the one frame at a time that goes by. But truthfully, the film is there. You know, all the reels are there waiting for the playhead to see. And so is that maybe us? And, is, and are the clairvoyants like that? They're able to see the full reels before they actually unravel. What would you say when making the film was the biggest challenge for you? Oh, you know, I think jokingly my brother and I, Ryan, are still recovering from the making of the film. It was exhausting. I think the writing process was probably the hardest uh, because we were trying to, you know, organically fit together this, this puzzle piece, the nature of this movie. Um, and then during the production itself, I think, you know, we knew, and we had 18 days of shooting, we knew we needed about 25. So it was really kind of trying to squeeze in as much as we could uh, into our days. And our days started at 12 hours, went to 13, went to 14, went to 15. So um, I think just the, the accumulative experience uh, was challenging. How are the challenges with working with your brother? Yes. I mean, what kind of, what kind of dynamic does that bring? Working with my brother is honestly the greatest thing uh, for me, and for us personally, for both of us. You know, we obviously have um, the brother dynamics, the sibling dynamics that can butt heads at times, but we're both very practical and logical, and we always are actually just searching for the truth of the story point. And so, we, if we're butting heads, it's only because we're trying to get deeper into like what is the the root assumption of an idea or something like that. But it's generally very smooth, and even when it's not, it's, you would still think we were like lovers slash brothers. We just really get along very well, and so um, you know, I hope there's a lot more of it, and I think there will be. So, as we're at a horror film festival, um, what would you say has been the most influential horror um, for you? So I was thinking about that actually, and it would take me back like a long time. I mean, I think it's the first thing that I remember when I was a kid. And it's not, you wouldn't define this as horror, but it was Alien. It was Ridley Scott's Alien. And, uh, you know, he always pitched it as Jaws in space, uh, the creature that you don't see until you do. And so you're, you're building up this psychological terror because you don't quite see the alien. And so uh, as, a, as a kid, uh, it influenced me a lot. My father was a magician, my grandfather was a magician, and so I grew up love playing tricks, you know, on my siblings. My poor brother got the brunt of that. And so learning those tricks from Alien of like, you know, a little sound off screen and how, what that would do to your imagination, well, I would just do that to him in his bedroom. He would be sleeping and I'd go scratch his window and run around the other side and, you know, so the poor guy, I, don't, I hope he's recovered. But I think it was Alien, actually. Well, I can check with him shortly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Ask him about the, the, the doll coming up to his window, the third story window. He'll know all about it. Well, all that remains to say is congrats on the film. Um, I really enjoyed it. Hope that everybody does here today, and uh, good luck with it. Thanks so much. Thanks okay. for having me. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having us.